To those who attack and criticize and oppose Donald Trump, I want to quote Mona Lisa Vito in My Cousin Vinny. So what's your problem? <laughs> what in the world has happened to the, Rep to the Republican Party? Oh, I know the answer is Donald Trump. That's Monica Crowley speaking at the Faith and Freedom coalition conference. This is the big MAGA Republican conference taking place today. And just like Monica Crowley that you just heard there, all of these MAGA Republicans, MAGA Republican influencers, members of Congress, people who are running for governor, MAGA Republican senators are going up there. And it is like some of the most bizarre and unhinged and dangerous stuff. After saying that, Monica Crowley then addresses the MAGA Republican audience. Now, this is who the Republican Party is. And she says that Senator Joe McCarthy, the late Senator Joe McCarthy and his McCarthyism uh, was right and that the deep state was going after people like Nixon and the deep state is at it again and they should have gotten, they should have supported McCarthy and they should have supported uh, Nixon, not Kevin McCarthy, Joe McCarthy. Play the clip. The government, by the way, Senator Joe McCarthy was right. And he was trying to ring the bell in the 1950s about communist infiltration in our government. And the same deep state that is now going after Donald Trump, the same deep state that removed Richard Nixon, the same deep state that went after Ronald Reagan and anybody else who stood up to them, that deep state became very insidious and in the 1950s smeared and attacked Joe McCarthy for speaking the truth about godless communism in very halls of our government. And then she talks about, uh, again, this is like as kind of culty and odd as you get. She goes, and we have a fearless leader, Donald Trump, and they may try to throw the kitchen sink at him, but he has the hand of God. It's a cult. It is a bizarre cult. Here, play this clip. Because we have a counter-revolution going on here, and we do have a fearless leader in Donald Trump, where they have thrown the kitchen sink at this man over nine years, and they cannot believe that he is still standing. <laughs> Hand of God. Hand of God. And, you know, in his first term, and there will be a second, because we know who's in charge. Um, in his first term, Donald Trump delivered a booming economy, an enforced border, law and order, and world peace. Yes. Then you have MAGA Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik speak, and she says that it is illegal to prosecute Donald Trump, that it is unlawful to prosecute Donald Trump for his crimes. Hush money payments to porn stars, falsifying business records to cover it up. Hey, this is the Faith and Freedom Coalition. Don't they support hush money payments to porn stars at the Faith and Freedom Coalition? Insurrection, stealing nuclear codes, uh, financial crimes, you name it, all good. Uh, Donald Trump being an adjudicated sexual assaulter. Isn't that what the Faith and Freedom Coalition of the MAGA Republicans stand for? Here, play this clue. We're seeing the illegal weaponization of our courts and radical district attorneys like Alvin Bragg going after Joe Biden's chief political opponent, that is Donald J. Trump. It is a form of election interference. It is illegal. It is unconstitutional. And then you have MAGA Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik spread the lie that the jury selection process was corrupt and that the jury wasn't allowed to be asked certain questions. And everything that Elise Stefanik says is false. She goes, the jury didn't get questions about whether they follow President Biden on Twitter. Well, first and foremost, President Biden was not a witness or a criminal defendant in this case. But second off, they were asked if they were members of any anti-Trump organizations. The jury was asked what type of news they watched and they consumed, if they had negative thoughts about Donald Trump. And then guess what? Donald Trump's lawyers were able to question the jury on anything they wanted to question the jury on. So if they wanted to question him on questions like this, they could ask that. And again, just attacking the jury process, 
attacking our system of law and order, attacking the fact that 12 jurors unanimously found that Donald Trump was liable for crimes, trying to get 12 people to agree on anything. After a grand jury indicted Donald Trump, after a seven-week trial, after 12 hours of deliberation, the MAGA Republicans who want to defund the FBI, defund the DOJ, prop up an adjudicated sexual assaulter and felon. This is who they are. It's, it's, it, it's despicable what they've become. Play this clip. Think about this. It is so corrupt that in the jury selection process, the jurors were asked, do you follow any social media accounts of President Donald J. Trump? If any of them said yes, they were not allowed to serve on the jury. They were not asked that about Joe Biden. They jury shopped and then they illegally judge shopped. The fact- Oh, and then they have Donald Trump's spiritual advisor uh, give a speech. Oh, not the one who was just, who just admitted to molesting a minor. Um, that's the other spiritual advisor, the one who admitted to molesting a 12-year-old girl. It's always with these MAGA Republicans. And it wasn't uh, the, the, the other uh, colleague or, spe or Republican who was just found to be chasing a sex worker at 2 a.m. in the morning, like with a gun or something. Not, not that one. Just don't want to confuse you here. I know a lot's happened in the past uh, 48 hours in the Republican Party, those two things included. It's, uh, it's Paula White. Donald Trump's spiritual advisor who does this. Here, play this clip. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. For I hear victory, 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 victory in the quarters of heaven. In the quarters of heaven. Victory, 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 victory. For Angels are being released right now. Angels are being dispatched right now. Hamanda ata ata rata dede baka sanda ata ambo osa kata rite eke banda ata rike tidi. Yeah, that's Donald Trump's spiritual advisor, and here's what she said at this Faith and Freedom Coalition conference. Play the clip. Well, what what is God saying? And I said, Sir, I said you're going to be president one day, and a tear. I'm not much of a crier. I'm usually much more of a you know, on fire type of person, but a tear ran down my eye. And I said, but I hate the price that you're going to pay. Little would any of us have ever imagined the price that this man, his family, and many of you, many of us have paid. But I have to ask you something, and I know what he would say. Is the price worth it? Yes. Absolutely. And then you have uh, Mark Robinson, who's running, MAGA Republican, who's running to be the uh, governor of uh, North Carolina. And he's made uh, horrible homophobic statements and just horrible statements before in the past. Um, but here he is, he says, uh, the fact that he says so much hateful and evil stuff for him isn't irrelevant because all he's gonna do is say the name of Jesus over and over again. Here, play this clip. Uh, it's the mainstream media here. If you're here, I want you to hear this. Hear me. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you do in your newsroom. I don't care about your plans and your schemes to bring this nation down with your Democratic friends. Why? Because Jesus Christ is still on the throne. You may have your news cameras and your satellites, and your 24-hour news. But Jesus Christ holds the world in his hands, and he holds me in it as well. And what he asks for me, you cannot keep from coming true. It may not be the governor's mansion. It may not be any political seat, but you will not stop Jesus Christ's will in my life. So I do not fear you. Write your stories, tell your lies, tell your half-truths. But Christ is still on the throne. And because he lives in my heart and I live for him, I know whatever I need to do on this earth for him, it will get done. You know, one of the comments that Laksha Jain uh, does a great job uh, in predicting elections uh, that, that he says is he goes, I think the Trump campaign is not actually understanding why they were 
ahead before, even though they're not anymore. Trumpism isn't popular. The more people see this stuff, the more people see Trump and his crew, the less they like it. But they can't stop themselves from doing this stuff and shooting their mouth and, and going around. I'll make this other point, though, too. Um, this is the Faith and Freedom Coalition Conference. And I just want you to think about what the MAGA Republican Party has become. Yes, Donald Trump's a felon, adjudicated sexual assaulter. It's on videotape talking about uh, sexual assault. He's was friends with Epstein. I, I can go on and on in there. But just think even in the past week or so, right? Uh, week and a half. Donald Trump goes into churches and leads cursing, uh, leads chants for children to curse at, at churches. As part of political speeches, they curse now. They show up wearing hats, MAGA hats, chant Trump's name and start cursing. You play this clip. So they come up with something that's fake. Just like everything else they do, it's all fake. The impeachments are fake. The court cases are a disgrace to our country. Everything is fake. So they come up with this order. I, I won't say it because I don't like using the word bullshit in front of these beautiful children. So I won't say it. I will not say it. But this thing allows millions of people. <laughs> Yeah, that was at like a, a church in Arizona, that one. Or Donald Trump goes to a purported black church, fills it with white MAGA followers, all wearing hats, chanting Trump's name in a place of worship. I mean, this is some this is some odd stuff. But anyway, I want to show you what's going on right now. And this is the Republican Party today. Extreme, odd, dangerous. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million thanks to your support. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.